Hey guys, it's Basic Sorgonomics. Mike Sorg here from Pittsburgh, PA. Let's talk about podcasting. Uh, as I do, I usually have a topic uh, here on our Tuesday nights, your weekend this Wednesday morning. Uh, and I think, uh, actually, no, it is Wednesday morning now that you look at the time. But uh, podcasting report, something we've been working on lately a whole bunch is, is, is just that. Uh, specifically, Wrestling Mayhem Show, I know uh, we've been kind of paring things down, making sure we don't get too many people. I've, even though I do have the extra computer that I can do it on, we don't put in a fourth person on Google Hangout. Um, and, and I've talked in the past, I, I really do enjoy when we have somebody in the studio. I think that there is a better rapport going on, there's a better relationship, there's a better conversation where you can see eye to eye some people, even though I do have an iMac in the way of where I put the couch after the move, after a water problem over on the other side of the studio. Uh, but, uh, you know, I think, I, like I said, it, it's preferred, but I think at a certain point it works, and it depends on the personalities on the other side. When you're you know, online, you need to make sure uh, people are paying attention that they're not cross-talking too much because there is that little bit of delay, whether on Google Hangout or Skype, and and you need to watch out for that. So, so depending on who you bring in, and sometimes you bring in a guest, and uh, that guest isn't familiar with that delay, that guest, uh, you know, uh, the, maybe isn't wearing the headphones like they should be, so I don't pick up some background noise and have to work that out because I don't discover it until five minutes into the show, and we're aimed to do a 45-minute interview, for instance. Um, you know, I mean, stuff happens, right? But again, tonight, I think uh, when we look at Awesome Cast. Uh, I feel like we have uh, four people uh, between uh, you know Uncle Crappy, Dutters, and Chilla. I give nobody a real name apparently, uh, <laughs> and uh, we're we all understand it. We all understand the delay, and we all understand the conversation, and we know each other too. We're friends that we hang out, and have lunch, uh, have pizza, whatever the case may be, and and, and it works out really well. Uh, you know, again, and I think that that's working out really well for Boss Battle as well. Everybody's finding their place. Bobby Chachi, uh, Riz, whenever he's around, uh, it works out well. Uh, the Mayhem Show, I think, is going to be different from week to week. We have so many people to cycle through. I'm trying to bring in new faces, different faces. We had Sherman back on this week. Um, we've been having other people kind of pop in from other walks of, of whether it be wrestling fandom or doing other things. We had Bon Johnson uh, about a month or so ago uh, who, who actually writes for Philly.com. So having those minds is really nice right uh, and, and being able to get new thoughts going but still you have to have that general rapport you have to have that conversational i think you know as we've experienced probably one of the best people that i'm able to discuss things with is 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 will dj lunchbox a papa lunchbox on wrestling mayhem show and that's what led to the creation of that um, morning afternoon power after hour that we do every weekend it's very casual is also my desire to do something casual that's not like gotta get the show out every week gotta do this gotta make sure we put the tweets out gotta make sure we make the instagrams of the video so we get more people to follow the show it's like we're doing it more for ourselves not <sighs> Well, this would be a weird... We're doing it for ourselves and not for the people that might be listening so much. It'd be nice if we had a bunch of people listening to that, but it's just us to have a conversation and work that out. Because, again, I believe in that idea of uh, podcasting as therapy a little bit. Jane Silent Bob Get Old kind of concept. You can find me writing about that in a, in a magazine, actually. What did I write for? Journal of Lifestyle Medicine, probably, or maybe Ruminations before that. Either way, not to the point. So I think when you're starting a podcast, and somebody else showed me today uh, a, a fellow uh, who is doing a solo wrestling show. He, t he sat there and talked for 25 minutes and a very hunched over kind of thing. And my, my posture isn't the best, but I try to sit up a little tighter when I'm trying to sit down and do a podcast and talk to you so I can project into this microphone and look at you into that camera lens if you're on the video side of things. And um, I think, I, I, I think, well, not everybody can sit down and do this right away, you know. That's why I even, as far as podcasting goes, record a few, see how they go. I, I told somebody tonight, is like, you should start your own podcast. Oh, I don't know if I can really do that uh, for extended period of times, periods of time. I was like, do a few that are five minutes. Don't release them. See how they sound. See if you're comfortable with it. You don't need to release everything that you make. I tend to because I just am that way. And, and I like to fail in public. But you don't have to. You really don't have to. And your friend, you know, maybe the, the maybe uh, you guys have great conversations, but you get microphones in front of you and you're maybe trying to do video. And honestly, I think anybody starting a podcast, don't start with video. 
just if you're going to do a podcast, just do an audio podcast. Don't follow my example. Do as I say, not as I do. As far. And, and even as far as me getting the video, how many years was it before I got the video? We only started this four years ago, and we, we did six years audio only. And there's a lot of stuff that we had to figure out here that I can come down, sit down, and for the most part, most weeks, just kind of go. Set that thing up, turn these things on, and we're going. And I can do this on a daily basis. And I can do this randomly when I have a guest as I, I do schedule tomorrow. Um, you develop that system. You develop that rapport with your equipment. And you also figure out who works and who doesn't work. And you can schedule around that. You know, It's hard to do interviews because you don't know who's going to be on the other end. Do you have that rapport? I think that's why we're very selective about who we have on the wrestling shows. That's why we don't have, hey, have this people because this person because he's popular. Um, I would not have booked for, say, Zach Gallen just on, oh, it's Zach Gallen, and he answered my email. Cool. But that I spent time with him working on that project, the Finding Zach Gallen uh, documentary. I'm like, he's a cool dude. I can talk with this guy. I think I can talk with him on a phone call, on a Skype call. And we can do a good show. I think that's a difference. You look at somebody like Colt Cabana. He's sitting there with a recorder in a hotel room and just BSing with this person. It's not an interview. It's a conversation. We're more of an interview. But we try to be casual about it as much as we can. And I know we succeed or fail one way or another with that from week to week, depending on, on, on who's conducting, who's doing what, how are we with the person on the other end. And sometimes we do take people on that we haven't had a lot of conversation with, you know. Um, but, you know, you live and learn. And we get better about dealing with the tougher of the situations. And I can't think of anybody. I honestly can't think of anybody we've had on that show that I thought was a bad interview. That I thought was like... I, we've had people on that were timid. A little more timid than we wanted to be. A um, couple people that have just been a little more nervous than I expected. They were younger wrestlers in, in most cases of those. Uh, but generally pretty good pretty pretty good on that and 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 i have that different rapport you know i, I think will's one i have the strongest because he's again probably one of the guys i've known the longest i'm doing these shows with uh versus uh the certain combinations on mayhem show versus Eamon and i have you know we're two people in the same wavelengths about independent wrestling right and that's what you need to do as one thing about booking uh that you're at odds with the other person I don't believe that people want to tune in and hear an argument. I, I, I don't believe that the people for my podcast want to tune in and hear an argument. I think if they want that, they can tune it into Fox News. I think they do that. They can tune into any other wrestling podcast. And we are having a conversation about the fake sport that we love, about the technology that we love, about the video games we love. And, and I don't believe in that overly negative attitude. If you love it, you shouldn't have a podcast about hating it all the time. And I know we don't always succeed on that with some of the people on the shows. With myself, sometimes I'll go off about something. But still, it takes two to tango. And I guess if I boil it down, you know, every show that I started was based on the fact that I was talking with the person on a regular basis, say, Anytime I was at a party, I found that person and we talked about X. Technology, wrestling, video games, whatever the case may be. And we started a podcast based on it. Because it was, this is a great conversation. Let's record it. Basically is where it goes. So when you're thinking about doing a podcast, or maybe you're not even thinking about doing a podcast, maybe you're realizing, wow, that person, we really have good lunches or we ran into each other at the parties or we're having really good uh, Google Hangout conversations. Maybe that's the thing you need to start with. And let the rest of the stuff fall into place. And take nine years figuring it out. You know, if you have that time. But, uh, I don't know, that's a good place to start. It's hard to start something by yourself. Maybe you don't have access to people. Maybe you, it's me and I want to talk to these people and do interviews. You got a big hill to climb, I think, especially if you're starting from scratch. I don't mean to discourage you, but I'm just telling you, it's probably going to be a lot harder than you got that buddy that you love picking up that 
Skype call, picking up that podcasting microphone, picking up that PC fifteen dollar radio mic, Radio Shack mic that we used to record these shows on when we started Wrestling Mayhem show ten years ago. And you look forward to that conversation. You're going to keep doing it, regardless of the money, regardless of the fans, regardless of the numbers. You're going to keep doing it because you would have been doing it anyways, maybe without a microphone. No question today. I hope you dig it. Dig it. Figure out what my rapport is on a show by myself. It's with the stuffed owl back here. That's who it is. What's up, X? We'll see you guys next time. Sorgatron.com. Please sign up for the newsletter for more stellar conversation. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.